classic American cars were special because they designed the cars to be beautiful, just rolling works of art. Modern cars have their place, but they lack a lot in the pizzazz. I like to build cars that are outside the norm. I'm not really interested in building cars that are going to command a lot of money or attention on the show stage. We like to do a little bit of everything with it. We can cruise down the freeway about 80 miles an hour or crawl up a waterfall. A friend had an old car that was just sitting in the field and didn't really have a plan with it. So we asked if we could purchase it from them. It ended up down here and we built it like you see it. The original purchase price of the car was $500. I built it with my wife, Sarah and son Peyton. We've done all the work ourselves, built it from the ground up. But we like to be a little bit different. We just want to build something that's fun to drive and unique. When Sean first got the Pontiac home, it was so badly rusted that its chassis dropped out. The car's engine was completely shot and its brakes were seized. Sean set himself a challenge to make this ride roadworthy within a year. But to pull off this tricky turnaround, he would have to call in some donor rides to bring the vision to life. His dream, off-road rallying and hitting the Gambler 500. The 55 Pontiac chassis doesn't have good brakes, doesn't have good suspension, so we found out that an S10 wheelbase is really similar, and a 2000 model would give us all those creature comforts we wanted. After finding a suitable S10 chassis, we decided to swap out the original frame with the S10, fill the floor pan, and lift it up a little bit. A lot of the modifications we did to the front bumper, uh, because all the chrome was so bad and the car wasn't really restorable, there was a lot missing. We added a lower bash bar. That was a bed frame and that was just some steel I had laying around. We ended up adding some straps to the hood because about 80 the hood started to float up and it didn't have a secondary latch. Put some fog lights on that my dad bought in 1975 when he worked at Kmart and just had laying around in the back so I was able to incorporate those in the build which was really cool. It's a 5.3 out of an old Chevy truck we pulled out of the junkyard. Big upgraded radiator, some tow hooks, and a skid pad in case we get in a little bit of trouble. My wife Sarah did all the lettering by hand, brush painted all that in. We added some giant KC Daylighters, my favorite part of the car. Don't use them a lot, but they're cool to look at. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on body work. I just kind of cut the wheel well out. We had to add a little filler panel here because it was literally rotted away. Since our car is kind of junky, we had to add a Do Not Tow sticker to it. Inside the car, we have the original dash, uh, original steering wheel. Added a really nice set of comfortable pro car seats, which make all the difference in the world. Fire extinguisher, air conditioning controls, and a couple cup holders. We have our mascot, Sweaty Eddie, over there. And he does the hula for us anytime we drive around. The best American cars were made in the 50s and 60s. Just the looks, the performance, it's all about America and driving. It's a lot of fun to drive. We've driven it all over the country. The attention it gets is amazing. You feel like you're back in the 50s when you're cruising around. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job on this car with classic styling and, and conveniences. We do have cruise and air. Um, it rides really well. My wife enjoys driving it all the time. We definitely gave this car a new lease on life. It was put up abandoned and very rough shape. It was not roadworthy without extensive work. Well, it happened a lot. We'll go to a car show and we pull up and park next to a, a brand new Camaro or Corvette and uh, all the attention is kind of drawn towards this old pile of crap and I feel bad for the owner of the nice shiny new car they spent their life savings on, but we, we do get a lot of attention with this. Everybody loved it. I have not got grief for this build from anybody. Even the guy we pulled up next to that had a perfectly restored 55 Pontiac, he enjoyed what we did with it. It's like, hey, I didn't have any of the chrome, the floor was gone, I couldn't save this one other than this way. He'd be like, nope, good with me.